Welcome to the Wisdom Mastermind. Today, we'll be solving a problem from two perspectives, a Zen monk and a Stoic philosopher. And today the question is, why do I feel so easily triggered by other people? This is a common problem we all face, feeling easily triggered by others. This can manifest in anger, frustration, or even sadness. The quote tells us that the source of this trigger lies within our own minds, not solely in the actions of others. So the question we must ask ourselves is, how can we become less reactive to external events and find inner peace? Tell me, what do you think of this problem and how each of you would approach the question? Friend, the key lies in understanding that we have no control over external events only our reactions to them. Just as the sun's rays do not inherently cause pain, but the skin's reaction to them does, so too do external events not cause our emotions. The responsibility for our emotional state lies within us. As Epictetus reminds us, it is not events themselves that disturb people, but their judgments about them. We must cultivate a strong inner fortress trained to remain unmoved by the whims of others. This requires practicing self-control, reason, and recognizing the fleeting nature of external events. We must strive for equanimity, maintaining composure even in the face of provocation. Friend, the path to peace lies not in controlling external events, but in understanding the nature of our own minds. The Buddha taught that suffering arises from clinging to impermanent desires. Our reactions are fueled by attachment and aversion, thoughts clinging to the past or grasping for the future. This creates a constant churn within us, leaving us vulnerable to external triggers. True peace lies in cultivating mindfulness, observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment. As Thich Nhat Hanh says, there is no way to happiness. Happiness is the way. By accepting the impermanence of all things and practicing non-attachment, we find freedom from the prison of our own reactions. Like, share and subscribe for more daily wisdom. Thank you. Stoistika.